Hello everyone, this is Miss Heather again from the Pioneer Library System for the Moore Public Library. And I'm here today to do kind of a part two to my sensory playtime ideas that I did for you all um, a little bit ago. So we're going to do a fun extension activity as part of our sensory playtime. And it's called Going on a Bear Hunt. Has anyone ever done that fun song or it's also a book? But I think it started as a song or folk tale. So it's super fun. I remember doing it as a kid um, when I was little. So I've always really enjoyed it. So hopefully um, you all will enjoy it as well. So let's go ahead and get started with our sensory playtime part two. And we're going to start with our hello song. So if you guys remember, we do some sign language in this song. And I'll go over it for you just real quick so you can see it. So this song is called Hello Friends. So remember, uh, hello, you just take your hand like this, tap the top of your forehead here and come out. Hello, hello, very good. And then friends, remember we take our two little friends and they love each other so much, they give each other a hug. Friends, hello friends. And then it's time to say hello. Let's do that all together, are you ready? Here we go. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, so good to see everybody. So like I was telling you, um, as a part of this sensory playtime tutorial, I'm going to show you something that's really fun to do with going on a bear hunt. And so it's a little uh, extension activity that kind of, kind of has a sensory aspect to it. So what you can do, um, it's really fun. You can go out in your yard and find some cool things to do a sensory activity that we're gonna do today. So usually in going on a bear hunt, usually go through a forest, um, you go through a river, you step in some mud, um, you go through swishy swashy grass and a snowstorm. So, but really it can be whatever you want with whatever items you have at home. So I went out into my garden and I found some grass. So you just get little sandwich bags. So I have some grass here. Can you see from my backyard? Some water from my river. Can you see that there? Splish splash. And then I went and got some real mud from my garden. So parents, it's okay. It's good to play with mud. It's good to get a little messy. You can always put them in the bathtub right afterwards. Um, so I went and got some mud and I add, even added a little bit of water to make it extra muddy. Um, so you can do that. And then for the forest, I just went and grabbed some twigs, a little bit of grass, kind of look like green trees for my forest. And then my favorite part, because I think it looks really cool, is uh, this is just flower, but it looks really cool as a snowstorm, right? Kind of looks like a snow bank when it's just sitting like that. And when you go back and forth, it kind of looks like a snowstorm. So lots of really cool things that you can do with that activity to make it fun. Um, so those are all the things that you will need or whatever you'd like to make and put in your little sandwich bags. Um, a good idea for the water in the mud is if you want to double bag it or if you want to use duct tape, just tape the top of those really, really good, nice and tight so it doesn't get too messy, unless you want it to be really messy. Again, like with my last one, I said, if you wanna do it in the bathtub or do it in the backyard and get really messy, that's fine too. But if you want it to be clean, duct tape. All right, so just as a tutorial, um, I'm gonna end um, my little video for you all today with an actual going on a bear hunt song. So we're gonna do that together. Are you ready? Have you ever done it before? It's really fun. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Going on a bear hunt, gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared of grass. Swishy, swashy grass. Can't go over it, can't go under it. What do we have to do? We have to go through it. 
swishy swashy swishy swashy swishy swashy swishy swashy all right so that was our grass and then let's do the river next you ready going on a bear hunt gonna catch a big one what a beautiful day we're not scared a river a deep cold river can't go over it can't go under it what do we have to do we have to go through it swish swash swish swash swish swash good job okay so next we could use our mud bag right so grab your mud bag once you make it ready going on a bear hunt gonna catch a big one what a beautiful day we're not scared <gasps> mud oh icky sticky mud can't go over it can't go under it gotta go through it squelch 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 all right next let's do our forest ready going on a bear hunt gonna catch a big one what a beautiful day we're not scared a forest a deep dark forest can't go over it can't go under it gotta go through it stumble trip stumble trip stumble trip and last but not least a really fun snowstorm you ready for that here we go Going on a bear hunt, gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. A snowstorm, a whirling, twirling snowstorm. Can't go over it, can't go under it. Gotta go through it. Woo, 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 woo. So that was just an example of this really fun extension activity that you can do with going on a bear hunt. So I hope you really enjoyed it. Just as a reminder, we do have digital copies of We're Going on a Bear Hunt um, on Upload. There's a really fun video that you can watch. So I really hope that you enjoy it and we'll see you next time.